Allowing them to get off a three. Denver does have a timeout, but they're not using it. Four seconds. Murray, step back, three-pointer. One go. Fight for the rebound, Martin. And it's over. The Miami Heat have tied the NBA Finals. What's up, Hoop Study fam? It's Coach JB, and today we are breaking down the NBA Finals. Now, the Heat did not have a long time to celebrate this win, as the Nuggets did come back and win in Game 3. But we are going to talk about the adjustment that the Heat made in Game 2 to help them come away with this win. And then we're going to talk about the counterpunch that the Nuggets threw in Game 3 that helped them get it back. Ahead of the pack, throws it down, Christian Brown, 10 points. Now before we get started with today's video, don't forget if you're a player, the Summer Transformation Program is live right now on HoopStudy.com. This is the perfect program to help you be efficient over the summer and level up your game. And if you're a coach or a trainer watching this video, don't forget about our Coaches and Trainers Academy as it's also live on HoopStudy.com. This is the perfect program to make sure that your team is prepared for next season. Let's get it. All right, so there are two main things that we are going to cover in this video. First and foremost, we're gonna talk about the heat and the adjustment that they made in game two. Notice how they are picking up people full court. This has a couple of effects on the offense. First and foremost, there is a 24 second shot clock. So the more that you can pick them up and apply that pressure, the more time comes off the clock and now it makes it more difficult for them to have an efficient offense because now things need to be sped up. Secondly, it makes them feel pressure. That pressure makes people uncomfortable. This is something that we really emphasized when I was at Queens University of Charlotte. Every single day we would zigzag people coming up the court. We would immediately pick up the ball. The reason why we do this is because we want the offense to feel uncomfortable. They think that we're always applying pressure, but really we're just always letting them know that we're there. In addition, it does take that time off of the clock, so it makes it really difficult to have an efficient offense when you're being sped up. So notice looking at the practice film, this is something that we worked on on a daily basis. And I'm also gonna show you some game film to go over a couple of small nuances that make all the difference in the world. Notice that each time there's a zigzag person, there's also a help defender. This help defender makes them feel more comfortable and confident zigzagging the ball because there are going to be times where the offensive player runs right past you or makes a good move and gets past you. So this help defender can stop them and allow you to recover. Now this defensive concept is not easy and that's why it works well for blue collar teams like the Miami Heat who have players who are fighting for a contract, who are fighting for a spot. Which leads us into our counter punch by the Denver Nuggets, Christian Brown. Christian Brown is a rookie looking for more minutes and looking for a big contract after his rookie contract is up. So what does he do? He plays very hard on defense, he chases after rebounds, he moves without the basketball, and he's aggressive. In other words, Christian Brown is doing all of the dirty work that nobody else wants to do that every coach is looking for. Now am I saying that Christian Brown is the reason why the Denver Nuggets won game three? Not at all. But what I am saying is, the margin between winning and losing in things like the NBA Finals is so small that if you can make an adjustment just like Christian Brown did, it can have a huge impact on the outcome of the game. So this is just a huge lesson for anybody involved in the game to take in. Players, if you are looking for more minutes, stop complaining. Start doing the things that nobody else wants to do. Try guarding the best player. Try going after rebounds. Try cutting without the ball. Coaches, this is a great video for you to share with your athletes. Send it to them. Take all of the emotion out of the equation. Let them see the examples of the things that you're looking for. Show them how they can zigzag and how they can play help defense. Show them how they can be aggressive and go after rebounds and cut without the basketball. When you can show them film and great examples of what you're looking for, you now have accountability and you've taken the emotion out of the equation where they don't feel like you're talking about them and they feel like you're teaching them. Now again, the summer is the perfect time to level up your game. That's why we created the summer transformation for all those athletes who are trying to get ready for the next season and the coaches and trainers academy as well. So this way teams are fully prepared when they go into their next season. Don't waste any more precious time. 
head over to hoopstudy.com and get started today.